All right, when you go to the main website, this is the home interface. Let's click on this new project button. We have some templates here and some built-in sizes, but we'll add our own. Let's set 1920 width by 1080 height in pixels, which is the standard for YouTube thumbnails. Lastly, you can change the image's background color, but I leave it to white. This is the main interface. Let's quickly go over it. This is the toolbar where we find all the tools. On the top, you will find options for the selected tool. To the right, we have layers, history, swatches, etc. This here is the move tool that moves objects. We can't move this layer because it's locked. The toolbar is full of other options and honestly, you won't be using all of them. So let's download an image and open it in Photopea. I need a brave browser icon. I'll do a quick Google search and find an image. We can see the blue colored brave icon. We can copy it from here and paste it in Photopea. But I'll download it this time to show you how to open computer images. I'll open it in a new tab and save it on my desktop. Now in Photopea, click on file and on open to open this image. Next, we'll remove the background. There are multiple ways to do that and the simplest way to remove the white background is the magic razor in this razor option. Right click on it and select magic razor. With one click, you can delete the same color in the image. If I click on the white background, it will delete it. However, we have a problem. Let's undo the last move by holding down the control and Z keys. The problem is that because the background on this beta text is white also, Photopea is deleting that as well. In this case, we can't use this magic razor. We'll use the quick selection tool in this menu to select the logo and remove the background. With this option, I'll click on a part and it will select the same color part. You can see that it has selected the icon. However, it hasn't selected the beta background. I'll click on this area to add it to the selection. Now it has selected the whole icon. Next, we'll go to this select option and click on inverse. This will deselect the selected and select the part that was not selected before, which means that our background is now selected. Now we hit the delete key to delete it. Next, we'll remove the selection. To do that, go to the same select menu and click on deselect. Now we'll choose the move tool and drag this logo with the mouse button clicked, then hover over the main project and drop it here. You can see the icon layer, but it's behind the background layer, so we can't see it. Drag this layer and drop it on the top. Move it and place it in the middle. All right, so I want to add some color to the background layer. To do that, first we'll unlock it by clicking on this lock option. Next, we will right click on it and click on the first blending options. Here we have many tools to take this layer to the next level. We can change this white color in this color overlay menu, but we want to add a gradient overlay. So I'll click on the option next to it. Photopea has added the black and white gradient. Here we will change its properties. The first thing is changing the colors. We'll click on this gradient color, which will open up this window. Here we have two color sets. The top ones are the opacity of the bottom colors. We'll double click on this black dot and change it to something like blue. Let's double click on this guy and change it to green. The colors are vertical. Green is on the top and blue is down the bottom. I want to make it left and right. To do that, use this angle circle. Let's set it to 0 degrees and click OK. Alright, this icon looks smaller than the image, so we'll increase its size. But before we do that, let's change this layer's name to icon by double clicking on it. Now we'll go to edit and select the free transform option. You will see this blue box here. You can select and drag any of those to change its size. Once you are happy, click on this check mark to confirm. Now I want to add some shadow to the icon. To do that, right click on the icon layer and click on blending options. This time I'll enable drop shadow. We can already see the shadow, but let's tweak some changes. If the blend mode is something else, change it to normal. You can play with others and see if anything else looks better. 
we can change the color from here let's set it to white and set the strength 100 you can change the shadow direction with this angle option let's set it to 90 i don't want it to spread for now let's increase its size to something like 190 maybe add 10 in the spread it looks great click ok to close it all right the gradient looks good but i want to add a background image as well for that let's go to pixabay and search for the internet i like this image because it's blue we'll simply right click on it and copy it and go to photo p go to edit and select the paste option photo p will paste the image on a separate layer i'll move this image to the center then we'll change its size let's go to edit and click on free transform this time while dragging from a corner you will hold down the alt key this will resize the image from all corners without changing its position let it cover the whole area we'll call this layer the background layer drag it down to the bottom we'll change the name of the previous background layer to gradient now to see our background image we'll reduce the opacity of this gradient layer to something like 60 we can see both layers all right it's time to add some text we'll click on this text icon to add now you can click anywhere to add text or click and drag the mouse to set the text area let's write brave review press the ctrl and a keys to select all change the text size from the top to something like 75 then we will change the font to something bold i know of a font that will look great i like it but let's change the text color to white you also have some other options here now click on the move tool so we can move this text i want to add background to this text to do that i'll click on this tiny new layer button and it will add a new empty layer we'll move this before the text layer so the text will be on the top now i will click on this select option the rectangle will be here by default i'll add a selection covering the text then we'll go to layer then new fill color then color fill here we can choose a color this time i want to select a color from the image to do that i'll click anywhere on the image this will fill the selection with the chosen color so i skipped the video and added some text the process is the same i want to change the appearance of this text so i'll go to blending options and this time add a stroke increase the size a little bit and set the opacity to 100 i won't change the color because it looks great now i'll add some shadow as well this looks a bit more reduce the size of it okay this is better close the window once you are happy with the design go to file and save the psd file which can be opened in photo p and photoshop you can export it as png jpeg and some other formats here